Intention Beads, Believe and Achieve. Link in the description below. Hello, fabulous Scorpio. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of October 2020, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable and powerful astrological month and yes we do have big and important lunar activity it is a blue moon month which means that we start the month on a full moon and we end the month on a full moon as well and it is at the end of the month as we have that full moon in your opposite sign that your energy your attention your focus is going to change very dramatically but before I talk about that, I do want to mention that this is also a Mercury retrograde month. As we begin the month, Mercury is in shadow and it will be right in the middle of the month that Mercury will go retrograde. Most of this retrograde season and most of this month certainly has Mercury in your sign. And what that means is you are thinking of what matters to you most, what matters to you first. It is very much on the surface for you now. You are contemplating more deeply issues of identity and considering how it is now that you are going to move forward and with what. And so as much as I'm going to talk about all this other stuff happening this month, in a blue moon month at that, it is important to say that by far it is this Mercury retrograde in your sign that is going to be most important for you as an overall trend. I would also advise you, this may not be the month for important life decisions, great for considering and reconsidering, but just when you think you know the final answer or what it is you really want or what you come to realize is not only your best step forward, but who you are, that answer is going to change perhaps several times this month and certainly into next month as well. In fact, I would say it is next month that Mercury will go direct it is next month that Mercury will re-enter your sign after leaving your sign around the 28th of this month. And it will be once Mercury is direct and still in your sign that more truths about yourself and what you really want and who you really are are going to become clear. A pathway forward is going to become clear. But until then, great for considering and reconsidering and contemplating and re-contemplating not necessarily for making a big life decision, life move just yet. So let's talk about the important lunar activity taking place this month. It is going to be right out of the gate, the very beginning of the month that we will have a full moon. This full moon is hand in hand with Chiron, which gives it that much more emotionality, that much more vulnerability to this time as well. For you, this full moon is taking place in a part of the sky that has to do with your daily life. So this is your workplace, the people who surround you there, the type of work you're doing. It is also related to your health-related habits, how well you're taking care of yourself. I do think that this can represent changes. It can represent a person perhaps leaving your work environment. Again, it could be a coworker, a client, a customer, uh, an immediate supervisor. These are the types of people that may exit at this time and there's a lot of emotionality uh, to it. But it may also be you and your realizations as to what you really want to do on a day-to-day -day basis, what's worth doing and maybe what isn't. This can represent the close of an important project and that leaves you with a feeling of vulnerability. Now, regardless of what transpires, it is going to be next month with next month's new moon that all kinds of new beginnings are promised and I'll be here to talk about it every step of the way. It is that much more important at this time that you take the best of care of you, where it is that you need to be taking better care of yourself that may come to the surface in the first days of the month. Now, in the middle of the month, right around the 16th is when we will have this month's new moon. And this new moon will be taking place in a part of the sky that is the sign just before yours. And the new moon is speaking in tension with Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto. So this is some intense energy. And given where this new moon is taking place, it looks like there's a lot of restlessness on your part. There may be a sense of closing karmic ties or ending karmic chapters, understanding what has served its purpose in your life, but also feeling frustrated and not necessarily knowing where exactly you're frustrated or with what and where exactly it is that change needs to happen. 
it is a cleansing of sorts that's happening on a level of soul and psyche and spirit and the more that you can allow that closure to take place the more empowered you will be but know that whatever it feels uh, that is so uncertain. Remember, it is under the sky that Mercury is going to go retrograde in your sign. Whatever feels so uncertain, you will find a way forward. Now, as we get to the end of the month for Halloween, and just in time for Halloween, we are going to have a full moon. Now, this full moon is hand in hand with Uranus, planet of a surprise, a minute. But What's also key here is that the sun will be in your sign, standing across the sky from Uranus with precision. And what that tells me is there's a real sense now of changes taking place to your one-on-one -on -one alliances. These could be business partnerships. These could be professional alliances. But there's a sense of uncertainty now and other people surprising you, whether it is that they suddenly leave or whether it is that suddenly people reappear it is going to be you seeing yourself differently by random and surprise one-on-one -on -one interactions with other people, very unlikely to be brand new types of people, much more likely that these are going to be people that maybe they were the last one you were thinking of until they show up in front of you. Whatever does happen, remember, this is about you seeing yourself differently. And part of what is different is your own reactions. And this could be a time when all kinds of dynamics are changing for you as well. And that includes in romantic dynamics as well. That full moon in your opposite sign for most Scorpios out there is going to speak very powerfully in the context of love. So for those of you open to meeting someone new, well, look, that full moon pretty much does guarantee that someone is going to show up, surprise you, feel like they come out of nowhere. And this is ultimately about you seeing where you are in love and why. Your own reactions are key here. Now, whether or not there's real long-term potential here, it does look a little bit up in the air, given what is happening with Saturn, in particular Saturn in the middle of the month with that new moon. And yet, it is going to be this energy that helps you to see something different in yourself based on how you react with another. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, I feel like this full moon is going to be a moment of truth. And for some, it really is going to be surprising. And that truth is either going to accelerate the pathway forward with this person or will have you going in an entirely different direction. And for those of you who are in an established bond, now in the very uh, small case where you know that you may not be in the right relationship for you, that truth is going to become very evident. It's going to come right to the surface. But what's also very possible here is that your partner surprises you in some way. It may be something happening in their life that takes you by surprise that doesn't necessarily have anything to do with you directly. But it's also possible that they have an announcement or make a decision that does affect you directly, that does feel like it comes out of nowhere and does take you by surprise. Now, regardless of what happens, if it is that you know that this isn't the right relationship, well, look, this full moon could be like ripping off a Band-Aid going in a whole other direction. But for a lot of you out there, this is going to be about seeing something different, seeing something new in your partner and in yourself as well. And after a moment of uncertainty, ultimately, this is honest, this is real, this is truth, and can bring the two of you that much closer together in the fullness of time. What I love about this month for you, well look, there's so much here. It is a huge astrological month and it may not seem like that right away on the surface only because so much of what is happening is in parts of the sky that either are focused on the details or are about what's happening behind the scenes. And yet there's Mercury retrograde in your sign. There's you contemplating and considering who you are differently than perhaps you ever have before. And there's also a sense now of things changing. Your alliances are changing and you are coming to a depth of understanding as to who you are in relation to others. This is valuable and is going to shift your focus very quickly and in some cases very dramatically. There is a desire for more authentic alliances and where that authenticity is not, it will become very clear very quickly. But where that authenticity is, those bonds can grow that much more honest and that much more strong. 
Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded, exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.